आजादी का अमृत महोत्सव आजादी का सफर विथ ए आई आर न्यूज बर्थ ऑफ अ नेशन इंडिया ग्लोरियस फ्रीडम स्ट्रगल is one of the greatest struggles the modern world has ever witnessed AIR news brings you a glimpse of this struggle every day jo lakshmi bai maharani si ik balidani In today's episode we remember the incredible warrior and freedom fighter Jhalkari Bai who was born on the 22nd of November 1830 an advisor and confidant to the legendary Rani Lakshmi Bai she played a key role in the battle formations alongside Lakshmi Bai and emerged as a prominent fighter during the first war of Indian independence in 1857 Jhalkari was born to Sadoba Singh and Jamuna Devi in Bhojla village near Jhansi. Jhalkari didn't go to school for a formal education but was taught to wield weapons skillfully and given horseback riding lessons since her childhood. Tales of her bravery were famous in Jhansi's households. It is said that once when decoits tried to raid the village, Jhalkari single-handedly drove them away. She is also said to have killed a tiger with her axe when the animal tried to attack her in the jungle. Rani Lakshmi Bai spotted Chalkari during a festival celebration in Chhasi Fort and was surprised by the uncanny resemblance Chalkari shared with her. When the queen was briefed on Chalkari's brave acts, she was quickly inducted into the women's wing of the army. In 1858, when British Field Marshal Hugh Henry Rose attacked Chhasi Rani Lakshmi Bai took on the British forces from her fort with just an army of 4000. However, she was betrayed by one of her own commanders, thus making defeat imminent. Counseled by her generals, Lakshmi Bai quietly slipped away from Jhansi on horseback. Jhalkari Bai set out for General Rose's camp in disguise and declared herself to be the queen. This led to a confusion that continued for a whole day and gave Lakshmi Bai enough time to escape. Rose ne poocha saath mein tere kaisa kare vyavhar Haan se de do jhalkari ne kaha ye barumbar Jhalkari Bai died on 4th April 1858 while defending her queen and fighting for her motherland. Rose kahe yadi aise ho ek piece se dina Her courage has left behind a rich legacy for millions to emulate. There is a statue in her honor in Gwalior. In 2001, the government of India released a stamp to pay tributes to Jhalkari Bai, a warrior who lived and died defending her people and her country. We salute her indomitable spirit. Today We also commemorate the birth anniversary of Indian nationalist Shanti Ghosh who was born on 22nd of November 1916 in Kolkata West Bengal. Ghosh was a founder member of the Chhatri Sangha in Kamila and joined the militant revolutionary organization Jugantar Party. On the 14th of December 1931 Ghosh and Suniti Chaudhary both 16 years old at that time walked into the office of Charles Jeffrey Buckland Stevens the district magistrate of Kamila under the pretense that they wanted to present candies and chocolates to the magistrate prior to christmas while stevens ate the candy and said these are delicious ghosh and chaudhry removed automatic pistols which were hidden under their shawls and said well how about this one mr magistrate and shot him The two girls were sentenced to transportation for life and sent to Hijli detention camp Kharagpur. However, in 1939, after having served 7 years of sentence, they were released because of the amnesty negotiations between Mahatma Gandhi and the British government. <laughs> After her release, 
Ghosh attended the Bengali Women's College and joined politics. She served on the West Bengal Legislative Council from 1952 to 62 and 1967 to 68 and on the West Bengal Legislative Assembly from 1962 to 64. She continued to work for the betterment of India till her death in 1989. We salute the great Indian patriot. <laughs> brings us to the end of this episode of Azadi Ka Safar with AIR News. See you in the next episode tomorrow.